And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Are we live? Yeah. Are we only six minutes past the hour? Oh, that's quick. It's hard to tell when we're live because all the button lights don't work here. But they're a new studio, so whatever. They're new and everything's great, I guess, except the lights that tell us if we're on the air. Yeah. Hey, everyone. That's it's how Monday. Jay, Jay likes... Case of the Mondays. <laughs> Jay started with a real case of the Mondays. Just... <laughs> Moping around on a Monday. No, it's the bonfire. Damn right. I'm dude. super excited to be here. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius X 95. Is it important that we do call uh, the call letter stuff and everything? Is it as important as Howard Stern's private parts made us feel? No, not at all. We don't have to say Comedy Central Radio, Sirius X 95? If you want to make Jacob happy, yes. Well, that's what I'm saying. Jacob, what are you supposed think? to be doing? I'd say it's good. You think it's good? I think it's good for the we show. Both, we both wear animal-lined hoodies. So who are you going to believe? Yeah. You. As <laughs> Two fall as two autumn campers. Yeah, do you? That's right, Jay. We we're, we build in comfort and class. I know, dude. You tonight, you are dressed like you are picking up uh, your teenage girlfriend. <laughs> You're a teenager too, but in nineteen, I'm going to call it seventy two. Thank you. That was exactly the look on my vision board. Was it really nineteen seventy two? Guy picking up uh, a yeah. high school girl, shady looking, stoned, shady looking dude in nineteen seventy two. You you have a green car, but one door is primer gray, a orange. No, 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 primer gray. But that you understand, we put down a car ready. Oh, oh, I didn't know you. Could. I didn't know you painted it. Dude, don't come after me and oh, my gremlin. Dan right here. Dude, wouldn't this have been such a better time? Yeah, I'm Big Jay Oakerson. That's Dan Soder. Hi. I would the have, gang is I would all have here. a curly-haired dick if, oh. this was the, if the year was 1972. God damn, I wish trying it was to score, this time right now. Trying to score Stones tickets? Oh, shit. Just a girl wearing a fuzzy-ass sweater and some high-ass jeans? You know how much I love banana boobs. Oh, banana boobs. All the rage back then. That's, that's Pinch how they straight built. hair, banana boobs. <laughs> Oh man, they're all just like what's, what's dead. I would have been dead by 1985. Cocaine would have came out and fucking ripped me out. Yeah, what's the what's the uh, sister on that 70s show? They're all just sort of like that. Yeah, yeah. The blonde. The yeah, bl- yeah. Man, man, it's hits. No, I'm saying that'd be the end of it. That'd be the sad end of it. I'd be I'd be great right now, and then you know, like 76, 77, start finding out about. Little cocaina. Yeah, that's where it goes haywire. And then 1982 is a bad year. That's a really bad year. You got in the disco. You started changing your whole look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. On the left. That's it. That's the sister, right? Yeah. From that 70s show. Yeah, they were all like that. Whoa! Look at this shot. Is that her now? No, that's not true. This is Eric's sister from that 70s show is still not doing well. Why does she have Mac and me eyes? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, she died. I'm pretty sure she died. Oh, man. Did she die? No. What happened? It looks like she got exposed to the atmosphere of Mars. Yeah. Come on. Give her... You had to do the three... We weren't able to get to the reactor in time. Yeah. She looks like as the reactor as before the air let in. Yeah. Right before. Yeah, right before. Ah, oh, they found her. Look at her. Oh, yeah, she died in 2013. Oh, Finally. man. What happened to her? Well, it they says say she, she couldn't be stopped. <laughs> says Pax House Recovery, Drug Rehab, Pasadena. So. Finally, someone was able to put her down. <laughs> Dude, you know what's fucked up is if anyone reads the date of someone's death and you just go, and then there was peace. <laughs> After they die. And she died finally, in 1984. And finally, there The was world's peace. a better place. Yeah, you're like, oh, that's a tough one. That's pretty awful. But yeah, the 70s would have been great. Yeah. What a better time. I mean, I like the technology. I feel like now, you, you wouldn't have missed the technology because you, you would have known, known about it. You wouldn't have known about it. And I feel like you'd been a very handsome, mustachioed man. May, I may have had, I'll tell you what, I would love to be confident, chubby of the 70s. Those guys did well. Dude, you would, you'd be just swimming in the park. Dude, you wear a tight button down with an open, like, neck. Yeah. Be a fat guy with some chains. And I'll yeah. tell you, that guy did okay. Not the, not the fat, like, I got coke at my place guy. I mean, just a guy just confident. Bigger, bigger. I think what my dad was. When yeah. I see pictures of my dad, that's what it is. I go, oh, he didn't give a shit, dude. He was all about it. Dude, my dad had that uh, alcoholic tire, you know? Yeah. Like the fat stomach. And I'm always like, oh, sorry, that was my dad. So I was always like, oh, dads have that or whatever. And then dad, now I'm looking dad. at a picture, I'm like, dude, my dad was 29. Get it together, Gary. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm 34. I'm fucking leaning into it. I'm 35. I look at that. I'm forgetting my own age. That's You're weird. forgetting. That's the first sign. Of what? That it's going, going back haywire. in time? Yeah. 
Things are going bad. You start forgetting your age. Why are you saying that, dude? I'm 33. I forget how old I am. Dude, don't freak me out. I forgot. I'll lock up? I've, you want me to lock up? I've had to double check my age before. Really? Yeah. Not that I don't... I think I know what age I am. I'm saying I do the math sometimes where I'm like, have I missed... You're almost like, did I miss a year five years ago? Or something? I'm definitely, I'm definitely proving Am I saying, saying something? I have a December birthday, too, which always gets confusing. Why? You're this, uh, birthdays? I forgot my own last name. Two well, I start ago. doing that thing. Throwing like, something out, I was like, what is my, how do you spell? I start doing that thing. I'm like, wait, aren't you one when you turn one? You know what I mean? You're months, but I'm like, I don't know. I think the number might be off. Yeah. I don't know. We're just two idiots. Yeah. Who Maybe I'm 42. I'm either 41 or 42. You don't know? Not quite. You're sure. just like a tree. You have to check the rings. I think I'm 41. You know, most scientists believe Jay is 42. He believes he's 41. I think I'm 41. You identify as a 41 year old. Well, here's why it comes off weird. What's all right, because I was born in 77. <laughs> Kick ass year. It's now 2019. Carter's doing his thing. It's 2019. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Carter's in the White House <laughs> doing it. his thing. Killing it. Peanut farming <laughs> the fuck out of that. Place. Getting that money. <laughs> yeah. Getting paid. <laughs> Putting fucking solar panels on the White House. I saw Vice. Fucking toothy ass pictures. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 1977. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's 2019. That's true. So doesn't it sound like I'm 42? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm you're, not. You're in your 42nd year. Right. This is. But I'm not 42 not. yet. <laughs> is Jacob saying that to you was such the energy to someone who isn't high, someone who is high? He goes, you're in your 42nd year. And Jay goes, what? Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> but what did that mean? <laughs> I'm on my way to another year. Wait a second, man. But, okay, that's true. <laughs> that might be the case. <laughs> But what also happens... Jacob, reel it in, man. You're <laughs> tripping me hard. <laughs> You're hurting my brain. <laughs> I, I brought some uh, Colorado pot. I got some back to New York. I'll just say that. And How's was your... that hole doing? <laughs> <laughs> Is it recovering all right? <sighs> you, had still open. Ba- you had a barrel of weed up there. Yeah. I took it. I took it. I emptied out of uh, a giant dildo and filled it full yeah. of weed. They offered it to him in like something that had like a... Uh, you know, a point on it so mm-hmm. it can like go in. And Dan said, no, I want blunt. I want a blunt force. Mm-hmm. You want to stretch around a flat surface. I th- believe what I said is I want a Wiley E. Coyote it and just sit on it. Yeah. In a Wiley Coyote fashion. You got a home in a, uh, you know, the barrel they put around a St. Bernard's neck? One of those. <laughs> yeah. Got it up his ass. No point. No uh, point at all. No lube. Blunt side. Breathe. Sat it straight up and down. Fucking breathe into it. I'll squat it down. Give you the name of the guy that does the seminar in San Diego. <laughs> Teaches you to breathe open your asshole. His name's Jordan something. Sweetheart. Sweetheart of a man can get you to fit up anything up your butt. <laughs> uh, the, we were saying coke earlier, uh, the, your 80s coke phase that we were imagining you going through. I saw this weekend I was outside smoking a cigarette at my hotel in Buffalo. Lovely Buffalo, New York. And a guy was out there. It. He looked like a 90s Latino drug dealer. It was almost more like a giant, oversized, like, leather Pele Pel <laughs> jacket. And uh, he had, like, the wind hat on. His jacket matched his jeans. They were very tan. Everything was tan on him and his boots. And he's walking around upset because he says, his hotel, man, I had confirmation. They had a hot tub room for me, man. Hot tub. I go, okay. Uh, which, by the way, I had a hot tub room. You had a, you had a, a fireplace. Wait, you had a hot tub and a fireplace in your room? The fireplace was awesome. Wait, but you had a hot tub. Yeah. Not like a big bathtub, like a hot tub filled with water. Not a hot tub. No. A jacuzzi tub. Jacuzzi tub. Yeah. I think that's what he was saying, too. Okay. He's saying they don't have it for him. He's just up outside. He's upset. And he goes, I ain't even worried about me. I'm worried about this pig I got in the car, which I thought was an interesting way to put it. Oh, uh, real romantic. I'm worried about this pig I got in the car. And then he go, he, I see him pull a bag out of his pocket. Yeah. This is so bright. There is security around. There is hotel staff around. And he goes, uh, yo, you want a bump? To you? He goes, you want to do bumps? To you? Went, to, yeah, to me. He goes, you want to do bumps? I went, ha, no, no, I'm okay, man. Thank you. And he goes, well, I'm going to, man, don't mind me. He goes, I'm having fun this night no matter what. And I've never seen this before. I told Christine. I was so blown away by this. He reached with three fingers into a pretty big bag of cocaine, mm-hmm. 
and grabbed, like, grabbed cocaine with his fingers. <laughs> yeah. And then just sloppily, like, put it like, under his nose and just started snorting up. And it was just all over his face. And That's the jet- coke version of putting water in your hands and drinking it? Dude. <laughs> it, he was just like... <laughs> it was so <laughs> obvious. He almost made, like, the... He did, like, the LeBron, the chalk throw at the beginning of the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It also sounds like the way a, like a child would do coke. If yeah. you're like, how do you coke? And you're like, you just grab it and put it in your face. You're yeah. Like, there's no like. You have to shove it into your nose with your hands. Yeah. There's a certain thing of coke. I like the, if I ever did coke, I'd want the ring that opens up and you just go. Oh, yeah. Just fucking get yacked. And you're just like. Not me. I'd want a, nec- I'd want a fucking. Uh, fang I'd want necklace. a diamond necklace with a little spoon on it. Ooh. Ooh. And yeah. then at one and point, grow, and I'm going to grow a fucking sick ass fingernail, like a vampire fingernail. Oh, absolutely. Dude. Just a real stat. Just get in there and fucking doing gummers, blast it up. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, I'm lucky I wasn't living in 1972 because I'd be dead by 1984. But you dressed like it, and that's what's worth it. All right, dude. Some I know. Of us, you, some I of know. Us are going through some stuff. I know you're not from 1972, Dan, but. Uh, there's no reason to dress like that. Oh, okay. Look at Guar. Look at Guar. Look at Guar. Look at Guar. <laughs> look at Guar. I know you're an evil serpent from the devil, but there's no reason to dress like that. Look at Guar. Look at Guar. Uh, fucking bummer news in the comedy world found out before the show. Um, the man that you have history with that's on the show. Veer Doss got a new special. Yep. And he's coming out. He's coming right for Jay. He's coming right for Jay. No, uh, William Stevenson passed away. Yeah. This past weekend. Yeah, William Stevenson, New York staple. Yeah, man. Uh, of comedy. If you've done New York, if you've done comedy in New York the past 30 years, uh, you know, you knew William. He was a sweetheart. I think everybody in the room, everybody here on this crew knew him, right? I mean, Christine obviously knew William Stevenson. Yes. DJ Lou. Yes, he's very cool. Nice to me smoking cigarettes outside the cellar. He really is a staple and he's a smoker, so he's always hanging out. It's a huge bummer. Uh, all right. You guys really point out all of his bad habits. <laughs> yeah, you go, I, I heard he was, was the best guy. He was the best. I heard, he heard he was late to pay back uh, Barbaro. You go, oh, right. <laughs> he, was, um, he was my favorite guy to base jump with. And we would really, he kept going lower and lower. He jumped from he goes, nuts. Why are you saying that? <laughs> Why'd you bring that up? <laughs> He goes, oh, man, he's my favorite. He goes, man, Jay, you got the best. Never watched what he ate. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, it all. Didn't give a shit. Jay and William had the history of the comic strip where the yeah. uh, uh, audience member tried to fight William Stevenson. Jay heroically stepped in. Fine, I'm not saying I'm a hero. But I mean, man, really that's what that Jay makes now. us call him off air. I he goes, call him. me the hero. I saved William's life. He made William say that to my face one time. <laughs> it was pretty awkward. <laughs> I haven't read uh, the obituary yet, but I'm sure I'm in it. You're headlining it. I'm sure I'm named in it. So I heard... You know, it, I heard he survived by. <laughs> Big J. He survived, by, he survived by a nephew, you know, a brother, and uh, Big J. Okerson. And Big J. Okerson. Uh, the man that saved his life at the comic strip. Yeah, saved his drug, wife that night. And for drug, what? Yeah. Can't, I'm not welcome to the comic strip anymore. For what? Stop. <laughs> Stop, for Jay. What? Stop it, Jay. You are a I good I try man. to help a guy and change policy. And for what? He goes. There's no point in trying to make change. And four years later, he dies. <laughs> There's no point in let me change. We were saying that what if Jay Butterfly affected William? <laughs> like, because Jay stepped in and stopped William from getting beat up, William never went and found fitness and MMA. Yeah. And lived a long, happier life. He would have lived to 97 years old if yeah. I didn't step in that day. Jay fucking killed William. Maybe Stevenson. he needed that ass beating that really goes, he goes, I gotta get it together. He goes, I'm gonna go down to the. Well, Go to yeah. the community center, like jiu- <laughs> jiu-jitsu. Goes, I'm going to become a one-man killing machine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you ruined it. <laughs> uh, but for real, peace, that's, William yeah. Stevenson, I man. fucking, fucking God, fun guy. I damn, really, I love him. He was so much fun to see, and he would always do, you know, he was, he'd was he be surly with you in a, a fun way. Dick. Yeah, really great dick. A one, a, I'd always go, hey, William, how you doing? I'd say that. And then if I went outside and smoked, came back in, and I'd be like, hey, William, how you doing? He goes, you already asked me that. And you're like, yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm like, I'm you just a, do that? Yeah, yeah. Out. He call you out, and you're like, fuck, I love that. I remember very, very, very young comic. Uh, when I came up here, I got a gig opening for him at Governor's. Yeah. For like a one-nighter, I think. Like Governor's, I think it was the brokerage, actually. Okay. And I've never been out there, never even been to Long Island at this point. I still live in Philly. And I picked him up in my car and drove him out there. And it was just a hilarious old black man ride to Long Island. It was the first time you were really spending any time with somebody. Yeah. All those old black man references. Yeah. He's like, you know, a huggy man from Starsky and Hutch. 
I knew him back when he ain't shit. <laughs> but uh, and I remember doing that with him, just like knowing him from that moment on, and uh, always being fucking uh, buddies with him. And one of my favorite funny getting angry at him memories. Yeah. And I think Christine may have been with me when this happened. But uh, I walked up to the cellar one day, and he goes, well, he goes, the Eagles are on up there. They're showing the Monday night game. I go, I know. This is when I would take a spot, Yeah. If even if I didn't want to do a spot. Yeah. You know, on something like that. And uh, he goes, the Eagles are on up there. And I go, uh, yeah, no, I know, dude. I'm DVRing it at home. I go, don't tell me anything. I, uh, I'm going to watch it as soon as I get out of here. I'm trying to avoid the score. And he goes, well, they win it now. <laughs> I was go. like, what? I don't know what you don't understand, man. <laughs> like, why would you say that? He's oh, like, shit. I don't know. He's like, yeah. he's never, he was very unaffected, which was, uh, which was great. He always seemed very even keeled and, uh, fucking hilarious guy. It looked like Cleveland Brown. That was always my favorite thing to point out. Yeah. How much you like Cleveland Brown from Family Guy? You even affected him to the point where he would go on stage and go, no, I am not Cleveland from Family Guy. <laughs> yeah. Because he did look a lot like him. So yeah, William Peterson, uh, I mean William Peterson. Wow. William Stevenson. Wow. What a way to whiff the eulogy right at the end. No, I was looking down at this, at our notes for the next thing. Yeah. So anyway, William Hackerson, peace out. Who gives a <laughs> shit? Whatever, Billy Mac, yeah. whatever. His name so is. anyway, Billy, what's your face? Yeah, how oh, man? Rest in peace, uh, William Stevenson, dead at the age of thirty-three. This is Black Lou live. This is Black Lou right Black in the studio. Lou, let him feel it. Bobby, I, mean, honestly, I don't know that, if it's the weed or what, but I feel like Dan really just went into memories of William Stevenson in his head. Close no, his no. eyes. He goes, I'm, I'm again. I'm looking at this thing. <laughs> just. <laughs> I, I go, Life's so precious. You know? See me punching the mic? Fucking not Why fair. Him? Why him? Not fair. Why him? You know he was supposed to have me see the show I was on on Thursday, I think? I never got to tell him. I fucking I never him. got to tell him. I fucking miss you. I never got to tell him. Jay, are yeah. you done with your bullying through my sadness? Are you done bullying me with my sadness? I think you are. I think what you're trying to do is, I think you feel bad for killing William Stevenson and stuff. So what? And butterflies. Don't oh, he had a good that. life. He had a good life. Don't say that. What was I going to do? Black Lou, I'm sorry I interrupted you singing. I guess so. Black Lou, finish up. <laughs> Black Lou is just in the corner fucking oh, killer. Yeah. And then we're just turning him down. Yeah, I know. Hold on real Did quick. Jay, can I talk to you real quick? What the fuck was that? Did Black Lou put on a fucking tearaway suit? He's just sweating. Yeah. <laughs> Luther Vandross style. Big Luther Vandross. Oh, yeah. Just that fucking profuse four. sweat. I mean, Ewing. Ewing 95. Dripping. Black Lou has got a handkerchief in his hand. Nah. He's dabbing himself. A grandmother just passed out wearing a weird hat and veil. Mm hmm. I'll tell you this, the room's definitely 20 percent, 20 degrees hotter since Lou started singing. Oh, for sure. It's making grandma's toe fungus sting. Skin. Sweat drips. Good eulogy. Man, that's pretty good. Oh, he's still going. Sorry. Oh. Well, let's take our first break because we got to come back with this fake email. All right, I'm going to go tackle Black Lou. <laughs> no, just keep letting him go. He's singing with his eyes closed. He won't even know we went to commercial. So did, yeah. He's got his monitors in, so he can't even hear us talking right I mean, now. He is killing. And I mean, I'll tell you this: I didn't think Jacob was going to be that good at the organ. <laughs> I'm more surprised that Jacob just stomping it out on the organ. And I don't know if you know. I don't know if you can tell from watching him right now. Yeah. He's playing the organ and bass parts on the it's on the keyboard, he, almost the entire rhythm section and the organ. He's going Ben Zarek on us. This is nice. Holy moly! Holy moly! Indeed. That's oh. the name of their. That's the name of their band. <laughs> oh, dude, they only do fucking oh, fucking holy services. moly! Black holy Lou and Jacob, holy moly, uh, dude, holy moly. Someone make an album cover of Black Lou and Jacob, holy moly. Gospel music. Yeah, Black Lou. Now that's what I call sad shit, volume one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> holy moly, going on tour. 
on the fucking This Ain't Your Virgin Mother Mary's uh, holy moly. When I say I need an organ tuned, I mean, I need my monster. dick sucked. <laughs> yeah, Jay. monster. Listen, Black Lou, you can keep your relationship with God. My relationship is with a green God. Money. <laughs> yeah. He goes, what's holy without moly? Yeah. Idiot. Yeah, go sing your songs with nothing behind it. The organs, the sensation of the heart. <laughs> You want to uh, take our break and come back to these emails? Yes, I do. Who's holy? Who's moly? <laughs> Black Lou's holy, holy and Jacob's moly. Jacob's holy. holy. I like Am it. I wrong about that? Am I wrong? Tell me I'm wrong, and I'll walk off this show. No, you're right. <sighs> moly sounds too close to, uh, what's the Italian? Moly? Yeah. <laughs> he goes, and that's going to get that's a spark up a lot of Twitter controversy. Yeah, you you're don't right. want that. You're, you holy, you're holy, Jacob's moly. You guys don't want a trip coming out the blocks. <laughs> you guys yeah. are pretty good. And moly, my, Mol, Molshewitz? <laughs> <laughs> Jacob Molshewitz? <laughs> Jacob Molshewitz? <laughs> we can do a backstory here, wrestling style. We'll get it done. And it'd be funny if Black Lou's name is Holstein. <laughs> yeah. Black Lou Holstein. Lewis Holstein. Holy and moly. Holstein and... <laughs> happened to work out. It just happened. It just happened to work out. producer found him at a diner just singing, both of them working. Uh, let's take our first break. We have some funny things to tell you from this weekend. Uh, hang on, let me do some coke here real quick. Take with it. <laughs> you want to do a handful? Oh, wow. What's what up, man? Does my nose look... For, does my mustache look frosted? It's like a sloppy fun dip. Uh, yeah, he really went for it. It was so weird. Was he hoping to like pick it up quick? I was like, do you want me to grab my own hunk if you want me to do this bump with you? Or are, are you going to... Are you going to feed me off your fingers? Yeah, he just... He just sprinkles you? <laughs> yeah, he just pegs me in the face. You goes, fucking Mr. Fuji's me? He goes, Coke fight. <laughs> yeah. ah, I'm high. I feel like telling you everything. <laughs> I'm cursed. Oh, no. What if, you know what a boss move would have been if he just took the bag and like put the corner on his nose and just, just poured it in? <laughs> a little bit, but he goes, you just got to talk a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> it's, it's a delicate dance. Goes, you tap too, you tap too hard, I'm telling you right now. You're going to have to call. He goes, there's an adrenaline needle in my trunk. I'm gonna have to have you pump that right into my chest. Can you tell that pig to grab my needle. <laughs> he goes, hey, tell that pig in the front row. He goes, which car is yours? He goes, you'll know when you see the pig in the front which one's mine. He goes, now uh, if I tap too hard, call somebody. Uh, shit. <laughs> oh fuck! Off your pussy. Pussy. <laughs> pussy. 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 <laughs> never, never not makes me laugh. It's never not great. <laughs> Let's take our first break. We'll be right back. It's still the bonfire. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. It's stripes today. That's ball and biscuit. It's the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio Series XM ninety five. That's for you, Jacob, and only for you, apparently. Well, oh, that we're saying, yeah. No, we're saying that. I'm Dan Soda. That's Big J Okerson. <laughs> and, this, and this is Comedy this is Central Radio. You're nonstop. Fan, home fan. <laughs> they, right they never do that. Where, those, where they just keep in the ones where they fuck up. They go, you're listening to that. Uh, it's, uh, it's comedy. Yeah. The the beat of, the beat of oh. San, San Diego. San Diego. Oh, yeah. San Antonio. Oh, damn it again. Riverview. And stuff. Guys. Guys. Uh, we got some emails over the weekend. Well, I got a text last night <laughs> from Christine that said that was Ari. This is great. Well, yeah. Don't. I'm telling my perspective because I don't know anything. Yeah, but don't, you shouldn't even say this part. Okay. It's a better thing that have happened. Was, what happened? What happened? Last night, uh, me and Christine dropped Isabella off at home in Long Island. We were driving home. We were having such a good time in the car. We you know, we're not in our car a ton. Yeah, you're jamming out. Playing music. Sunday night drive. Yeah. No traffic. It was nice. No traffic. We're Daughter's just back at home with mom. You're, you're back. You two are Fucking back on the prowl. Ripping butts. In the car? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, man. <laughs> so fucking funny. The week they got that car when we came to your house to watch Joey Logano take it all, they're like, dude, no, we're not smoking in there. You'll never, ever smell it, buddy. I am all over that car. Meticulous. I um, just didn't feel like our car we smoked in it. You fuck. Kind of stop smoking all around, but while we are, the car's the best place. car's the best place to smoke in the world. It's in the, the thing, world. Uh, it's the thing, it's the place I miss smoking the most. When yeah. we were in the car for the first day we got it, we were in it for seven hours on the way to Philly. We did, I think we only smoked one cigarette Two, that day. Oh, but Two. how good does that one feel when That's you go great. like, do you guys want to smoke one? You want to split one? And you're like... <laughs> We're like <laughs> yeah. leaning out the window. Oh, <laughs> and a snowstorm? Yeah. Oh. Smoking. Yeah. Hey, good job. 
evil people who made yeah. it. <laughs> so we were driving, smoking cigarettes. Literally singing along, me and Christine are going, 18, I get confused every day. Hey, put that on in the background, Lou. Yeah. This is Burke Kreischer esque story. <laughs> me and Christine are having such a good time uh, singing along with this, and then I get interrupted by uh, it's Bluetooth to the car. Yeah. So the song gets interrupted by says Jacob Batat calling. And me and Christine are feeling good, and we go, oh, Jay, guys, I think windows are down, so we're smoking. It's very windy and loud, and we push the button, answer the call, and we, and we go, Jacob, what's up? We're going to really fly this week, aren't we, buddy? I mean, legit. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like Jacob, what's better. up? Like, Christine goes, this better be good. Uh, you're interrupting Alice Cooper. And Jacob, it's funny, he's bad reception for whatever reason we're not getting, and I, he goes... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's just, you know, email came and I don't know. <laughs> disturbing. The, wait, Jacob, what's going on? He's like, hold, hold on. He goes, <laughs> he goes, there, you tell me. Yeah, I, you know, I, and we can't really hear you very well. I'm going, Jacob. And now I, me and Christine are both thinking. We found out later we were both thinking. I go, is Jacob ODing? Jacob's on drugs. <laughs> yeah. Jacob's on drugs and he doesn't know what's going on. Like he he took a, a weird mix. Or... He had a weird mix and he's like calling yeah. us because it also sounds so discombobulated. Gotta so get me out of the mud, man. And he goes, the mud man's coming for me. We're all falling. <laughs> mud man. We're all falling and everyone's sleeping and I ain't ready to go to sleep. I don't want to sleep for a I'm trying to go I want to wake up. I want to wake up. Please help me wake up. You need to drive over here right now. Wake me up. Bring me a Red Bull. Shoot me to space. <laughs> I need wings, baby. <laughs> JB needs wings. <laughs> JB needs his wings, baby. <laughs> so I started. He goes. He goes. This, yeah, I get you know very disturbing email I got, and I'm still. It's kind of loud with the car. I go disturbing email. You go. I go. What's wrong? He goes. Well, he called me too. So I'm like, from me. Like, is my email? I go. The last. I'm no, going through no, emails. The way he said, please. <laughs> Why does no one trust that I can just tell the story the best? I way? am <laughs> looking at you, listening. I know, but this one jumps ahead. Is what she does. She's Let's, a. She's a. She's a momentum killer. Let's kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get in here. Hold on. Nothing. Uh, two tongues knocking around won't change. It's just ridiculous. So the tempo uh, changer. He goes. I got a very disturbing email. I go. Disturbing email. I go. Oh, wait a second. I go, from who? It's like a horror movie. I go, from, from who? He goes, he goes, from you. And I went, what? I go, Christine, bail the cigarettes. We gotta roll the windows up and hear what this is happening. Now, I go, pause from the me. story, pause the story right there. Uh -huh. Now, I want to go to Jacob's perspective. Mm -hmm. Jacob, when you call Jay, and we're, we're, I'm not going to say what happened. When you call Jay and you know it's a dire situation and yeah. you hear Jay out His tone so couldn't good. have been happier. It was the greatest day of his life. Of what? And so was this making you feel crazy? Dude, yeah. it was Sunday. So we said, were eating shit all day. Yeah. I said, what What did you do the other day? Uh, well, I don't want to get into store, but I was like, how so can now, you be I went, to a six, I went to a Sixers game, Sixers won, Eagles lost, but that was a hell of a season. <laughs> hell of a season. Good hell job. Of a season. Good job, Eagles, getting back to the playoffs after losing. Oh, yeah. I'll but, get an official Nick Foles send-off fucking uh, memorial at some point. But, uh, yeah, and just like, but overall, just, you know, spent the day, whole day with Isabella. We had fun. We dropped her off back in Long Island. Good time listening to music with her. and everything. It's a good day. Yeah, that's, that's what the emotion he got. Yeah. From you. I go, wait, 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 barely cigarettes. Roll the windows up. Now I got to hear. The call is coming from inside yes. the house. That's the weirdest of when he said that. I go, it's from you. I start thinking back. Now, by the way, right away I was going through my head. I go, if I said something like weird or something, like, <laughs> I'm like almost like, to, like, I don't, a voice, I'm, like a voice memo accidentally in your phone gets sent. Just, through like a, now I'm like, was something sent accidentally that's like weird or something? Yeah. Like. I've definitely. I, 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 can't, I don't like send Christine like dick pic or send dick pics around or anything. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's not. I'm like, I'm like, what could this be? And then why would that be disturbing anyway? Who could it be now? So like, I'm just like, I'm in complete. Like, I'm like, what is he talking about? This is a mistake. Christine's going through her phone, looking like. What's are, this? Are, did you get an email? No, I no. didn't get an email. He just. He, this is great. He called me, so it was confusing. So then all of a sudden, I was like, I'm going into Jay's sent folder. You want me to read the email? No. Oh. No. Who do you want to read the email? This is what Jacob just says to me. Meh. He goes, just from you. I go, I go, Jacob, I don't, what do you talk? I go, I didn't, I, I didn't email you. I've never emailed you, I don't think, even. I text you. I go, I went. And he goes, 
Um, he goes, I say, baby. He goes, and all I hear is he goes, says, it's the email saying that you had a humongous fight with Jonas, who's a big dog, Comedy Central. Yeah, one of the top dogs. One yeah. of the top dogs. Uh, he goes, you had a big blowout with Jonas. And you said, and I swear, I, in the split second, my mind went from, when he said that, I was like, I because now I'm like, my thing got hacked. Yeah. Something terrible. And I swear, in a split second, I went <laughs> and started laughing yeah. hysterically. <laughs> and I go, uh, it just took me back to halftime of the uh, Eagles game. Mm-hmm. They're still up. They're up by four points. Yep, 14-10. They're up 14-10. And I'm like, you know what? They're losing momentum, but they're going to fix it in halftime. They're going to come back. I'm just alive with hope and promise. Already had seen... Already had seen the uh, the which the the Sixers win live, mm-hmm. uh, having and and fucking I and I go oh halftime of the game I go it's still looking good we're gonna be good hey Christine you want to go outside and smoke a cigarette and uh, she goes yeah and uh, Ari Shafir goes hey why well, you guys smoke a cigarette because do you have a lap can I use your laptop for a minute and uh, all, so I went in my mind I go I guess I go I had a fight with. Con- <laughs> Ari. Yeah. I go, Ari completely. And I go, Jacob, I don't know what that email says, and I don't want to know yet, but I'm just telling you that that's definitely Ari Shafir went into my email. Because like an idiot, I gave him my computer thinking, why would Ari go through my personal email? Yeah, well, why would he do that? So this is fantastic. And I want to explain. Uh, we'll read the email in a second. Because I have it still unopened because he sent it. Great. Now let me tell you, he sent it from to the wrong email address for me. That's hilarious. So he sent it to like a throwaway one that I have. Sure. And it's so you not never got a chance to see it. So I didn't see it. So I just. Well, Jacob did see it. You don't, you don't even know what it says yet either. Neither do I. Christine no. read it. Um, but this is the best. So Jacob goes, I go, that was Irish fear. I go, watch. I go, let's go give him his victory lap because he left that grenade. I bet he himself forgot about it already. Mm-hmm. This is the best part. I described what our night was so far. Uh, spending time with Isabel and everything all day. We call Ari and put him on three way with Jacob. Mm hmm. And I go, hey, R, and R just starts laughing right away. I go, dude, I don't just want you to understand what you did worked wonderfully because Jacob and I described the whole thing. I just described yeah. to you. It was an amazing night. We're listening to music, and Jacob called. goes, you sent me the message. And he just starts cackling, cackling, uh, uh, laughing on the phone. And then he goes, yeah, also, just so you know, he goes, I made it a real teaching moment. I went, Isabella, you see, when someone hands you an opportunity to do something like this, so... Isabel completely aware, didn't say a word all day, completely yeah. aware that bomb's laying out there that so she's going to possibly kill Jacob with anxiety. So funny. And possibly when me. Jacob, and I, it was aimed at me, too. I still don't know what the email says. We're going to we're gonna read it right now uh, on air. And uh, so what? Good. And then we have guests coming, but they're yeah. coming, supposed to be here at 7. Yeah. Right, what are you going to do? Stop panicking, I'm Jacob, panicking. you fucking nervous I'm ass. you. <laughs> Guys, let's just flex it out. Uh, so, yeah, I just get, who do you want to read the email? Um, maybe because Christine. I I went completely out of nowhere. Maybe I'm, Jacob. Maybe I'm Jacob's fine. voice reading will be so good because yeah. he read it and it like he it, knows the it shocked fear into him. Yeah, and I don't. And know. I can tell by the first line if it is the same email I got. It is. Oh, it is. Okay, so it's a group email. Perfect. He sent it to both of you. That's why Christine when she found out, she panicked and started telling you. Which I always said. She, by the way, then Christine's anxiety kicks in hard because she starts going into panic mode. She goes, well, "What if Dan sees?" And I go. What do you think Dan's going to do? Call Comedy Central before he calls us to be like, what happened? Comedy Central, Dan Soder. Uh, I just got a nasty little email. <laughs> yeah, so, it's like, what are you I, I heard of a disagreement between... Well, so the contract. only words I heard was got into a fight with Jonas. And Comedy Central. I just have an email that says bad fucking news. Bad fucking <laughs> Is that the name of the email? Yeah. So, yeah. so Jacob is going to read it? So why don't we read the email? And it... He wrote it, i got to say, give him credit. In your style, like I could see you writing like this. That's he called my brother before, and I was like, what the fuck happened? They can't do this! <laughs> they can't do this. You called what your brother he before? What have said to this guy? Oh, I don't know, dude. I have to read here. This, i got to hear the email. Well, no, I don't, you're the, saying well, you're getting ahead. I don't know what this thing is. Let's well, see what the email, email is. Goes, it starts off saying, we just got into a massive fight with Jonas at Comedy Central. He's threatening to end the bonfire. I'm dealing with it all right now with with Ed Brooke, but if but if they call you, don't say anything. Actually, don't even take the call until I get a chance to talk to you. This is really fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> Jets. 
From jayokerson at gmail.com. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Christine, <laughs> write to Christine's phone number. I'm Three. so dumb. <laughs> Dude, my question is, can we, uh, the thing that... <laughs> dope. That what, was really dope. You're, Sorry. This happened right at our house, our address being. <laughs> <laughs> you go over to 145 East 7th <laughs> Street, apartment 2C. The handle jiggles real easy. We go are very vulnerable between the hours of... I'll tell you this. If you attack at 4 a.m., I cannot fight you. I will not fight you. I am asleep. I always want to give Christine's email. I just have her get inundated with dick pics of fans. Um, yeah, just send your hogs to... Send your hogs to... Uh, but that's also our booking web Christine, address. Christine, do you have a throwaway email that we can give out so people just send their hogs to it constantly? And when you just check it, it'll just be dick pics of fans? Do you have a backup email? <laughs> no. You don't have a throwaway? No. All right. Uh, Christine Marie NYC at gmail.com. Christine Marie and Wow. I was getting ready to walk away from it. And she goes, no, 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 I lost the uh, access to my throwaway when I just forget the password. Well, that, when I got a new phone. It's gone. So Ari sent it to Dan Soder, yeah. comedy at Gmail, which yeah. I don't ever use. I don't ever use. And that's why I was like, oh, so I just get a text from Christine that's like, turns out it was Ari. <laughs> and I was like, what turns out it was Ari? I said, what? a missed phone call because I called you. I went into panic <laughs> yeah, you at this because Jacob was calling me and he, I, I just had no idea. And I was like, <laughs> Because I didn't realize you were CC'd on it right away. Oh. So I thought it was just to Jacob. And then I looked and I was like, I go, I know. Dan. Christine, I took it all down. It's Dan. over. Dan's email is so it's to the most us uh, at AOL. So it's McMost. We, uh, can we all, can we find, uh, we have fucking guests coming in. Uh, I hear on a Monday, I get worried with guests because I want to just talk to you about stuff. Right now, is there anything you want to do more than make a, a new Wacky side email address for everybody in this room. Yes, that people will only send ridiculous things. You can always send like fucking. Let's see if our nudes, guests. Let's see if wacky our, shit. Let's see if our guests not, are down. Nothing even show quality, just nonsense. Let's see if our guests are down with making up new email address. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> they will. Email, but they don't know everybody here enough to know. We can make a really good one for DJ Lou, but they're not going to get the joke. No, well, uh, they don't get uh, DJ one of our Lou guests. Like is a, one of our guests a Pearl Jam fan? So we oh, make yeah. a couple Eddie Vedder. Oh, we'll see if we can get them to kiss. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Just pretend he's him. Do you guys want to get these guys to kiss? Yeah. Can you? So should we not? Maybe. Ooh, ooh. Maybe your email during our guest might be interesting. What do you mean? I think it might be interesting for you to read your email you want to read to, on today's show with our guests. Huh. Do you see where that could go interesting, possibly? I absolutely know where that can go interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got cool guests. It's yeah. going to be fun. All right. Um, so, yeah, you want to take our break? Look at Jacob. There, he can't wait to go out there and just prance. I'm like so deer. sorry. Get you want to run like I'm a so sorry. Go get them. Give, give, it, give it a step. Wait, Jacob, let us get off the air. Let us breathe for a second before you bring these people in. Go ahead. It's fine. Me and Dan, I don't know if you know this, F-level celebrities, Dan probably D. Dan's probably I've heard D. rumors of D-. minus. Fucking uh, front billing on a TV show? Come on, man. It's not holy true. Holy. It's not front billing, but I was on the Yahoo web series Mansum for oh. 100 episodes. <laughs> You're, not only Mansum, are you not now in the opening titles? Uh, no, I'm not, in the, I'm not in the opening, but I'm in, I, I, I get my own, fucking... I get my own plate at the end. At the end. Yeah. That's what it is. You got solo show. Not till this season coming out. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> it's so funny that we're just like doing the small stuff. They go, so no longer honey wagon. You go, no, I got a bathroom now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I got a bathroom. Oh, that's pretty cool. You got your own plate? Uh, yeah. You got my own plate. Good, good production talk. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty sick. That's pretty damn sick. Pretty sick. So I'll tell you what, our guests can suck your dick, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Not me. I'm just a lowly old stupid radio host, but they could suck your fucking dick. I have fat my dick. own play, by the way, uh, their own show and the producer of the show. Okay. <laughs> so my dick. I've, always, I've also been on it. They've been yeah. very generous to me. They've been great. <laughs> They've been very, very generous to me. But yeah, that'll be fun to do your email with our guests. All right. It'll be a fun one. And uh, we'll take our next break right now. Okay. Bye. It's a bonfire. On Comedy Central Radio Series XM 95, all day, all night laughs. Stuff. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Sutter. It's the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio Series XM 95. It's very important. 
Jacob was getting us all wired up. How Where is he? Oh, man. He loved that you did that. How much did, did what? I nail it? We were, we're uh, saying Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. Oh, you it's identified. Kind of, yes. Just to make sure we weren't like a communist radio yeah, station in the 30s. This been taken over by Russian people. Oh, no, don't do the voice. Oh, you know, I, I think we can stop. I think we can stop saying Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. Big J. Okerson, Dan Soder, every time we come back here. People know. I think After it's the not. first one. They you get just it, said it. More. Yeah, see? Yeah. Set but, it up. But we, set it, we say it every time. Mm-hmm. It's moronic. Uh, our guest <laughs> joining us in the studio right now, um, the new season of Crashing, season three, premiering Sunday, January 20th on HBO at 10 p.m. Everybody, my old friends, Pete Holmes and Judd Apatow. Oh, oh my God. I didn't yeah. know there were hundreds of Stadium there. seating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we make thousands. It. Pete, Pete. They'll do whatever we say. Pete. Hey, 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 loyal. Very loyal. Watch, we'll do Judd, oh, too. Judd, 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 All right, we can even do last names. It took him a second. It took him a second. Can you? So you can switch it out. They're good. Can they do blood? Yeah. yeah. Like a scary one? Sure, sure. Yeah, it's a blood. flash. Blood, 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 blood. blood. They, they've been drinking. <laughs> yeah, Lou's been drinking. <laughs> it's We're vaping in here. <laughs> Sorry, we got a smoked honey delivery. We're all vaped up. I would... No, I mean, you could be in a vape commercial, Jay. I mean, I would, like I, I would not even guy. for the weed ones, the ones where it looks at the guys. I look at everybody in those videos of guys like making oh, like, you, fancy you, vape. <laughs> have you ever seen fancy vape videos? I've never realized that. You, I, yeah, uh, you look yes, like my it. kids have shown me like people do amazing some things. But those things like the jewel are the most addictive thing on the earth, and all uh, middle schoolers are like crackheads with jewels. That's oh. my question for you as a parent, because I started smoking, Jay, th- I started smoking at like 12, but I was smoking cigarettes. So jewels now for middle school kids, it's you like less. You sound like you started smoking yeah. when okay. you were 12. My, yeah, Pete, I'm only 25 years old. I, uh, my daughter told me last night. <laughs> I'm 22. First of all, my favorite thing was this. I didn't this. mean to interrupt your anecdote. Oh, no. This isn't the kind of show where you can jab yeah, in no, and have some fun. Sure. Jump all in, Fire away. This is sloppy. <laughs> we have no structure My here. daughter said last night, because Christine was looking for for her jewel, and my daughter goes, Jewel, is that like the long rectangle one? I'm like, shut the fuck shut up. up. <laughs> <laughs> shut up, <laughs> dork. You know you have. You know, like, she absolutely knows what it is, but then they say her school, like, I don't know, is this dangerous or not? Are they magnetizing the bathroom because it, it makes the jewels won't work or something, right? Ooh, that's that troubling. Actors. When you have to magnetize the whole space. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's also, what I'm saying. <laughs> they polarize the entire room. one fatal flaw inside <laughs> of the jewels. <laughs> Guys, is this just me, or is my jewel not working? It's, it's like a pyramid where if you touch this one brick, the whole thing goes down. Yes, my jewel's operating under the fourth prime directive. <laughs> Do not work in school. <laughs> Dude, that's a that's a fucking hilarious thing to equip the bathrooms with anti-jewel. That's what I always appreciate. They said Wawa made all the lights, all the lighting in their bathrooms blue. So you, you can't find a vein to shoot up heroin in the bathroom. Really? And they make a quality sandwich 24-7. <laughs> How big Whoa. of a junkie was the guy that pitched that? <laughs> he goes, guys, I mean, we could do blue lights. Can't find a vein if you want to shoot some H. I'm trying to stay clean. I feel like there's a whole world I don't know much about. Yeah. Yeah. Gas station sandwiches Wawa. is our specialty. <laughs> oh, Wawa bathrooms? Wawa bathroom lighting? Wait, Wawa? what's Wawa? Wawa is a... East a Coast child sa- asking for water? No, it's no. an East Coast it sandwich be. shop. East Coast sandwich, but it's a sandwich shop. It's gas station sandwich shop. Oh, so it's a gas station. Yeah, well, it's a sandwich awesome. shop first and foremost, Pete. Yeah, I, I show a little respect. I would say you go for the sandwiches, and if you need to refill, it just no, so happens to be you a location. Start selling unleaded. That's your number one. I mean, that's they also do diesel, are. so let's not paint oh. them in a corner. That's their way to. That's how they lure you in. Then you get into the store. Look at this store. You call them at a gas station. You're saying oh, that's a gas station. You've right never there. been more Philly than you are right now. <laughs> yeah. That store. Well, I feel like if you're like a long, uh, you know, you're a trucker and you, you're driving a long distance. Instances, you want food that clogs you up. Yeah. You don't want food that keeps it yeah. moving. No, if you're a trucker. Kale, regularity? Like if yeah. you're a trucker and your route has blessed you by passing a Wawa and you don't stop in there, I mean, unless you're looking to shoot heroin. <laughs> yeah, that looks like a... <laughs> you know how funny would that be if you're just with someone and you go, can't go to Wawa, I got blue lights. And you're like, hey, do you, are you going through something? He's like, that's fine. No, I smoke meth, so it doesn't yeah. matter. I don't need lights. He goes, I actually like the blue lights. They calm me down. <laughs> they take me down from my violent stage. What else would the blue lights stop you from doing? 
I don't know. That's it. Or Blow make a, a post. Smurf, and make a poster look wear, sick. Wear, and also wear a t-shirt with a mustard stain <laughs> on it. <laughs> you go, I thought, son of a bitch, I thought this thing came out. What would it do? Show all of your feet? Uh, <laughs> show all of your dental flaws? That does look like a store you'd have to be road hypnotized by a 90-mile haul <laughs> to yeah. think it's a store. <laughs> or BJ. I wish we could, yeah. <laughs> you could just be BJ. Yeah. Looking the yeah, tailgate. Yeah, we'll BJ. I wish we had Wawa sandwiches for you guys both to eat in front of us. To I, s- I'm good on diary. <laughs> yeah. There's no There's diary involved here. Oh. It's as you oh. said, stopping up. It's going to clog you. Yeah. Clog it up. It's the cork. I don't even know if it'll clog you. I think it almost makes you regular. It's it, fantastic food. But what if you're a, a trucker and you're like, okay, I got to drive. I've got 2,000 miles ahead of me. And then you get in your car and you have your coffee. And then 30 seconds later, you're like, I got to take a shit. Yeah. Yeah. But that happens be. every 20 minutes for, for 2,000 miles. You put it in second gear. That's the code for filling up them trousers. Oh, really? You got you got, you got, I think this guy yeah. in front of me is unshifting. Oh, ah! I didn't know you spoke CB. Yeah. Yeah. You speak ham radio? He goes, what? You got a guy on the line with it. He goes, ah, breaker, breaker, one, two. Are you, uh, you shifting down in a second? Uh, drop a load in your pants. Yeah. You just drop a ham radio. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I dropped a full ham radio. <laughs> Jay, has anyone ever thought when you said, my name is Big Jay Okerson, that you were spelling it out and that it was Jokerson with a capital J? Yes. What's your name? Big J. Big Jokerson. Okerson. <laughs> yeah, start with the J, then go Okerson. I'll get you all there. <laughs> I never noticed it myself until somebody would just make my name on like when I did the starting the black circuit sometimes they would just write big and then the letter J that's not how I, I ever thought oh, I was always oh like big J yeah, they, yeah. yeah they, they used to do like the letter J so big J Okerson looks like big Jokerson true? yes isn't wasn't Bill Burr in the when he did the black circuit Billy Burr wasn't that his thing I think he was Billy Burr across the board and then one across the board Billy Burr his and then one shot, shot at the cellar says Billy Burr it does yeah, yeah. One I, day, I think one day he just said how old do you have to get and still be called Billy hilarious that was it that's what he See, told me he was like I, I can't be called Billy anymore I only ever knew Bill as like the greatest and like a legend and, and I opened for him when I was first starting out and he was headlining it was at, at uh, Peoria it was at a place called the uh, Ice House or something in Peoria it doesn't matter so I get back to I get to New York I see Gaff again this is 10-15 years ago and I go yeah I was just in Blah Blah opening for Bill Burr and he goes Billy Burr? <laughs> it, it was so long ago yeah. that he couldn't believe that Bill Burr was headlining. Yeah. Really? Like he knew him. Can you just let that soak in? There was a time that we knew Bill Burr he can't as believe, a strong he middle. Can't, he, can't yeah. believe, <laughs> he can't He can't believe Judah Friedlander's headlining now, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious just to think there was a time that someone was like, Richie Pryor? <laughs> that's have that's, that guy that's fucking, what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, Little Dick guy, Pryor? Little I, Dick Pryor? I think that's what Merv Griffin called him on the first uh, appearance. <laughs> oh, really? Is Richie Pryor? Yeah, that's, that's hilarious. Welcome, little Richie Pryor. Georgie Carlin is looking to do an. <laughs> he's doing. The guy's doing an hour. He's never going to be able to fill an hour. Billy Cosby, a real lady killer in the back. <laughs> yeah. What's he doing right? What do you think he's doing right now? Bill Cosby. Oh man, fucking sharper in the back of a toothbrush. Fucking get extra cornbread. Here's what, what I, was, I, was, I was trying to figure out: Is he bragging about being Bill Cosby or trying to tell people he's not Bill Cosby? I don't oh, know. No, I think they have him in a wing where he doesn't see any other gen pop. I think, I think he's, pop. Yeah, he's not in there. He's not in there with the animals. He's uh, I think up. he's got that milky eye just sitting in a corner telling old war stories, smoking a cigar. Are you familiar with the 70s? <laughs> Son, pull up your pants. <laughs> he's still telling them to pull their pants in fucking prison. They go, yo, man, I murdered a guy. I speak English. I speak English, and the robotics will not work in this certain play area. Cell <laughs> Block D speaks English. Why is the light blue in the bathroom? <laughs> yeah. Is it for the veins? Have you ever looked for your veins and you can't find them? Where are my veins? Where did they go? <laughs> look at all the veins in the bathroom. <laughs> we were trying to think of uh, the worst stand-up material that you could do for Dove Davidoff for his character, Jason. And what we landed on... On Crashing HBO. On, uh, which, crashing, which, which premieres? HBO. January 3rd at 10 p.m. At Comedy Central Radio Sirius. This is Big J. There you go. Dance and uh, what we decided was the worst <laughs> w- bit that we, we made a stand-up bit out of was Bill Cosby's graduation speech from uh, a long time ago where his big running joke was that he was mocking the concept of consent. <laughs> And that was, that was the thing. Like, so you got to ask people? <laughs> How's that going to work? And he literally did a whole routine at a graduation. Jesus, that's fucking... <laughs> Cosby did? Yeah. Wait, that's a real thing? No, yeah, and it's in a book. Like, he, he put it... Cosby mocked 
consent yes. at a fucking graduate. Talk about it. That. It's like what serial killers do to fucking wave a thumb in the nose of the detective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cra- that the level of I left you all the clues. You ignored them for years. Uh, just when they busted in his house in Philadelphia, he goes, <laughs> "It took you long enough." <laughs> I was out there for years. He, he turned in a chair wow. and he goes, "Gentlemen, I've been expecting you since the late '70s." <laughs> <laughs> what took you gentlemen so long? I've gone through several plates of jello. <laughs> the bodies were all there. Everything was there. Even I started to believe I didn't do it. There it is. <laughs> he's, the, the snow, he's the snowman killer. That's what you said. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. They yeah, there it is. There's a whole article they were there pulling wow. up uh, where they, they found this weird uh, Yeah, in weird the book. Speech. Yeah, in the book, uh, Cosby tells readers how lucky they are to have graduated since they no longer have to deal with campus sex police. In a chapter titled, No More Pre-Caressing Agreements, Cosby describes how silly it is that men need to get permission to have true relations with women they find attractive. I mean, say what you will about Bill Cosby. He stayed on brand yeah. for decades. The guy operated on Cro-Magnon Law. Oh, yeah, Caveman Cro-Magnon Law. <laughs> Thump them over the dome and drag them by the feet so you don't mess up the feet with the thing and get the hair dragging with the dupe and the bing. I mean, it's fucking crazy. They got to keep him by himself in prison. Yeah. Because everyone, I bet there's a lot of people that are like, Because yeah, don't I, fuck anybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to fuck Dr. Huxtable. But he probably wants to be around people so he can tell his stories and brag. And Yeah. Well, I was in the I Spy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they're like, like, yeah, we saw it. It's an Owen Wilson movie. No, it was a uh, Robert Cope. Yeah, <laughs> damn it. Now I wonder if only one of my eyes can spy. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if he pitched a stand-up night to the guys just to try to get a set in. <laughs> oh, I think yeah. Maybe for morale I can go up there and tell some jokes about how I took the ladies and I put them to the sleep and on the bed. <laughs> Wait. Got them to the sleep and the fuck about your like conviction? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, it's like fucking talent night. How do you do 20 minutes about that murder? Yeah. Richie over here <laughs> yeah. is an arson. He's going <laughs> to tell everybody <laughs> how he feels when he sees the buildings burning and the crackling and the we shot over here and did a drive by. We got to the driving and the shooting and the bipping and the booping and the bopping. Him just uh, describing, he becomes, you know how they always find like some old wise guy in prison to help them with their like fucking, uh, like to get. Yeah, to become a Muslim. Yeah, to make, but to make bail. We were talking about that with yeah, uh, yeah. Jimmy Martinez. Like, I wonder if Cosby becomes there because he's a doctor. Like, hey, doctor, can you help me out? Like, what did you do? <laughs> I'm trying to argue in front of the parole board. Because he's a, you know, he misses doing stand up. He, he must want a gaggle of people around him all day long. Yeah. I don't think he's sitting alone in, in there. He's, I, he's, he's trying to volunteer somehow. Yeah, I'd probably try to pony up. I'll do them. the laundry. You idiot protect the cause? N- n- I, and if I was like, if oh, I was in there... on him, does that mean attack like, him? I, no, no, no. I'd try to be friends with him because you know there'd probably I'd, be some uh, good security. With his gen pop. I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> Listen, time. Pete, some of us I got some dark past. <laughs> Have you some been of us prison? Eat, some You've of us eat been... Wawa and some of us were in some gangs we're not too proud of, but you do it to survive. You think the ultimate punishment is he has to eat off-brand pudding in prison now? And then they just make it? It's viscous in a way I don't care. <laughs> and can they please be given to me sealed? I don't trust you. Uh, <laughs> but that is a hard thing when you've been eating from your personal chef for 50 years. Yeah. That's got to be a part of what is unpleasant about. Well, and the, the beds, like, the you know, the beds, he's been wealthy for over four decades. So his beds are, like, this thick in yeah. padding. And now he's just on that slime, that, like, thin slab. If you think Wawa is a store, you won't mind prison. Yeah. But that's if actually you've been, been having a personal chef, like an omelet chef, Every morning, if you think Wawa is a store, you're just correct, yeah. <laughs> and you just have traveled this great land. If prison food is like Wawa food, well, then sign this guy up. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot this guy in the head yeah, yeah. right now. What are you gonna do? Off DJ Lou? Yeah, I'll do it, and on camera, <laughs> I'll do it on camera. You tell me I get Wawa every day, and I get to talk to the cars. <laughs> I get to write my slam poem, my slam poems. <laughs> but you know, somewhere there's like a lab for all the the wa food, and there's like a moment where it's, you know one of the heads of the company is like trying the new hamburger. Yeah, you be like, this is fantastic. And like, like you know, there's a massive process for every product. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And they like do like little test tube drops. Like, yeah. whoop, now that tastes like ranch. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. idiots like me are like, no, oh, that's ranch. That is ranchy, good flavor. Now that tastes like ranch. Yeah, that's how you got to. Do but it. I, I did a commercial for Doritos. Yeah, it was that Super Bowl commercial.
controversial thing that everyone does every year? Do you know about? I remember when you did that. Crash it was you and Matt Bowl. McCarthy, right? Yeah, it was yeah. Doritos Beer is yeah. the spot that we won with. We didn't win the whole thing anyway. So we got to go, and they were giving us a tour of like Frito Lay Doritos, like employees and stuff. And one guy was like, "Yeah, we can make a Dorito that tastes like anything." I was like, "What do you mean?" He's like, "Fresh mown grass." I was like, "That's pretty interesting." And then he goes, "We made one that tastes like fear." Because huh? fear is like a pheromone you release. <laughs> we ate a chip that t- uh, made a chip that tastes like fear, and then he goes, "We made one that tastes like mother." That is, and I what? was like, "What do you Fucking mean?" Terrifying. Because it tastes like the sensation of being a child with your mother. That pheromone that your mom <laughs> releases when she's breastfeeding. They were like, "Would that be a popular flavor?" Maybe sure. just breast milk. They just have a bunch of like ladies with udders, <laughs> like <laughs> they're getting thumped. Yeah, <laughs> they go, "Mother is almost ready for tasting." Oh, that's I don't mind oh, so oh, much. Oh, I read. My red book and just sit here. Uh, oh, you Which, just got out of the milking station. They we, can do a combo flavor that makes you feel like you're afraid of your mother. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, or they can just have my mom raise you, and you can just live in constant fear. Is that why you know what Gen Pop is? Yeah, yeah. My mom used only prison terms when she was breaking me in. What? She goes, all right, so now she goes, time. She goes, time for the yard. <laughs> that's, a, that's a cold hose, Trish. Your, your mom didn't raise yeah. you. She broke yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, she broke. She made me obedient. Trish, watch is this. So funny. <laughs> now that's ranch. Yeah. She goes, God gives me the babies, and I sort them out. She goes, well, if he's a little bit of a stickler, is this a real headline? Yeah. Bill Cosby to get first serving of Jello in jail Thursday. We'll have access to TV and email. I'll tell you what. What's he going to pay his life? He finally has something to email people. <laughs> Isn't it weird that you could rape yeah. just so many people, and then the day you get to jail, he's just like, <laughs> who's going to set up a Wi-Fi? Yeah. <laughs> Why does he have mail and email? Yeah, and email and TV. TV. That's, That's like a sustainable. He has such minimal time left anyway that he doesn't need more than those things. And I bet at 81 years old, he's happy someone else is controlling the TV. Wait, he's at that age where he's like, I don't know how to shift. Yeah, yeah. I'm channel. afraid of the internet, you see. <laughs> Can someone read me my internet mail? Are there demons in the box? I'm the booping and the piping. <laughs> Do you remember when Bill Hicks was really mad that Jay Leno did a Doritos yeah. commercial? Yes. With the Joey Lawrence thing where he says he kills himself? And, uh, yeah. What? He's, yeah, he says you're off the artistic roll call. When you worked for, when he did Bill the, Hicks. yeah, Bill Hicks, that's what he says about Jay Leno. That's how much the world has changed where there's literally nobody not doing a Doritos commercial. <laughs> yeah. And that was a big thing. Like he sold out. He was furious yeah, that, about Jay Leno doing a Doritos commercial. Yeah. I would love to do, I'll do it for fear and mommy. I'll <laughs> fucking push whatever chip they want. Ever since I saw the Doors movie and there's the scene where Jim Morrison comes in and he hears that they're playing Come On Baby Light My Fire and like a, Pennzoil commercial or something, and he gets upset. I didn't even realize what the element of selling out would even be, and now I still, even though I couldn't care less, and I fully understand why it's done, and would do it myself to whatever degree you possibly could. When I hear like Led Zeppelin in like a Ford commercial, you're like, "Come on, Led Zeppelin!" Yeah, I'm like bam, 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 giving bam, it away. Bam, yeah, bam, they were bam. just uh, in recent years. The Doors had a massive falling out because uh, I think uh, at the time two of them. When they were three of them, they were the, two of them were really mad at the one guy who would not let them put anything in commercials, and he was trying to yeah. live by what Jim Moore said, and the other two were like, no, we need, we need some like, cash. He's like, dude, my daughter wants to go to Brown. Can we please, can we do one yes. Nissan commercial, and I then she can go get her bachelor's? I can't look anybody in the eye and say... Ray Manzarek can't pay for Brown <laughs> University for his daughter. Please, can we please, God, yeah. just sell one song to, like, Wendy's. <laughs> and they're going to do a sound alike if you don't. It's just going to be boom, ba da boom, boom. It's yeah. going to be a little bit different. you got to give the Vanilla Ice explanation where they <laughs> call them out for stealing. He goes, mine goes, bum, 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 bum. There's a, there's a hilarious documentary I was watching this weekend called Forever Hardcore. It's the story of ECW wrestling in Forever Philadelphia. Hard? That's the documentary about me. Yeah. And the Forever Hardcore. Oh, Hardcore. Not I'm Forever sorry. Hard. Yeah. I thought it was Forever Hard. <laughs> but it was, uh, I, I watched it years ago and I just watched it again this week and I, and I just had it on the background. I get the background music of the whole documentary. Yeah. Are, slightly changed versions of popular like rock songs and almost I stopped paying attention to the documentary and just be like 
Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be Green Day, whatever. Ah. Welcome to Paradise. But you, you just hear it's like just slightly off. Hey, it's that like that kills they, me. That was, Nirvana documentary about Kurt Cobain's early life, and they had no rights. They had no yeah, rights. They, so so like, well, they, did, they did a Jimi Hendrix movie with Andre 3000, and he couldn't use any of the Jimi Hendrix music. So he's like, yeah! yeah. <laughs> it's just like... No. <laughs> no. I don't think that's purple The wind all. cries, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jake! <laughs> what are you doing with that gun in your hand? You, you can't even say that. In my last special, I had uh, songs, and you can't you can't even say them if you don't say the lyrics right. You can't really? Sing the melody. You can't quote the lyrics. I had a joke where I... And they'll house you for licensing if you do. For sure. You get, I wanted to sing the Bruce Springsteen song, uh, Hey, little girl, is your daddy home? He's like, what? What the fuck is going on? Springsteen goes, Boy, who's using it? He's a big old for his HBO special. Let him know that I'm putting out Bruce. On, on, I got a special coming out on Netflix. Yeah, this is, no. where the, this is where the steam comes out of Springsteen. I'm very litigious. <laughs> he goes, right down, he might not have worked as a lawyer, but I sure as hell do. I got a team of them. <laughs> I need to get my Hebrews on this. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you let Pete Holmes know there's blood in the water. <laughs> if he even hums that, I'll fucking sue his ass. <laughs> Big dog got to eat. Big dog like, got to eat. You couldn't do that? Like, Colbert just couldn't sing that casually yeah. on a show, and they were like, there's different rules. I think there are, there, it also has to do with if it's going to repeat or not. Okay, yeah. Like, sometimes you can get away with something. With crashing, do you guys have original music? Like, did you guys have to deal with bands to... Like, we clear a lot of stuff. You know, the, but the thing that I always like is when you get something cleared, because you assume maybe the band approved it. So yeah, when we did Freaks and Geeks, we cleared... Uh, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, Only Love Can Break Your Heart. Yeah. And then we, we were waiting, like, when is Neil Young going to watch the episode? And then one day we got the call, Neil Young said okay. Yeah. And then literally five minutes later we were canceled. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Fuck. The curse of you, the have, you have to have that with uh, your movies a lot, too. Like, when you have, like, yeah. scenes in mind, like, uh, sure. how much does music play into that? Do you want this song? Oh, this is the perfect song. And then you have to worry about... Getting it cleared by like a thousand. Well, so, yeah, and some of that stuff is, is is super expensive. I remember that when we did the cable guy, uh, Jim was hiding an event. I think he was uh, like staring at Leslie, my wife, who was in the movie, and he was he just started improvising and he just went like. Bah, bah, bah. I can just started doing a, a girl from Ipanema, but like a lunatic. Dude, that is and, fucking great. And then we had to like try to get the clearance of it, and the guy said no. And we were begging him, and 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 then what we heard back was. He wrote that song about his wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you know what Jim Carrey with a lisp creepily singing it at a woman? Yeah, well, your wife said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> can you swear on that? <laughs> he goes, can By you get the, the wife way, on the phone? song's been used in commercials plenty. Yes, yes. Absolutely not, true. Not in the, in the context of stalking. No. Yeah. Well, you know the story enough. about the documentary comedian, Seinfeld's comedian, yeah. is that they did a rough cut and, he was, and they just put in all the greatest songs in the world. And then Seinfeld watched the rough cut and was just in love with them. And he was like, buy them! <laughs> really? He spent like millions of dollars to the soundtrack. So yeah. Do it. Do it. No. Oh, I can't. <laughs> what is that? One observation uh, about Levi's? Uh, Do yeah. it. <laughs> he goes, sir, we'd have to pay Miles Davis' estate over $70,000 for a three second clip. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Pull the trigger. I'm sorry. Did you watch season eight? Do it. <laughs> He's telling you which episode bought which song. Yeah. That's four seconds of episode two. Well, the first season, the rate was very low. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do it! That's got to be crazy just to buy it, because I wanted to use a Queens of the Stone Age song on, my, on my Comedy Central hour, and they were like $30,000. And are like, okay, we'll get a knockoff. Yeah. Dude, I got an audible phone laugh when I asked if I can come out on my Comedy Central half hour to a specific song. <laughs> yeah. like, what? Ah. <laughs> I was like, can they play it in the theater and put whatever else when it comes out? They go... No, <laughs> like, no, we well, can't. It's also do that all, all. All, all music is somewhat burnt out in shows because when we did uh, Freezing Case, that was 1999, yeah. and at the time there was no popular music on television other than uh, I think Dawson's Creek would put like new, very light pop sure, music yeah, yeah. on, but no one was buying like classic <sighs> rock songs and yeah, you putting could put in music. Shows. You could like break people by having them on a show. Yeah, but no one would put like The Who in an episode of Lou Grant or something. Just, <laughs> like, there was no music in anything and we said, oh my God, no one's ever used any 
classic rock in anything. Yeah. What's so, happening? What's happening? Doobie Brothers. That was good, but you know he ate the popcorn next to the tape recorder, and so <laughs> when he tried to record the Doobie Brothers show, all you heard was rerun eating the popcorn, mm-hmm. and uh, he learned a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to give a shout out to. I want to remember who it was on Twitter. Answer that. I was trying to remember the name of the kids, the family of kids that was singing on the Gong Show. On an episode of What's Happening, mm-hmm. it was the Givens kids. And it got a a deep, Twitter, it's a deep cut. It's a deep, deep cut. It's a deep, deep cut. But what's right happening that went to the Gong Show? There was an episode of What's Happening where they were on the Gong Show. I think Freddie Re- Dubs was going to yeah. do a dance, but they brought out these kids, the Givens kids. It was like a family, like a doo wop <laughs> group of like five kids, and for some reason, every time the, they would change the songs, one kid would go. <laughs> It was the most bizarre thing ever. Gilbert, I couldn't think of the name of it. Gilbert Godfrey used to do a bit. I, I think I'm a, a, a somewhat accurate, <laughs> on it, which was about rerun holding out for more money. And, yeah. and, and Gilbert was like uh, doing the executive. Uh, yeah. Rerun's dead. <laughs> <laughs> that is a weird place just to get to a point where you don't think about contract negotiations with like Charles in charge. Like yeah. at one point, Scott, hey, who's in charge? Here? Yeah, Scott. Scott Bale had to use that, or his agent had to use that line. Oh, that's that goal. story where who was it? It was Bruce Willis, and he was in negotiations for Die Hard, and he was like, "Who's your number two choice for John McClane?" That's what I fucking thought, and I hung up. Someone saw him do that on what set. What a and fuck like, balls move! That's we had great. Eve Plum on our show, season three of Crashing, which premieres January twenty ninth. Man, after True Detective, uh, you, guys I follow, after you guys are full of like True Detective, huh? Huh? Oh yeah, we have we both Jay and I have it DVR'd, but uh, haven't watched it. I'm excited to see. We it. We follow yeah. Grizzly Murders. Yeah, it's yeah. like Grizzly Murders and then and Pete Ho murders. Comedy murder. <laughs> murder. My murder. Uh, but Eve Flam is Jan Brady from the Brady Bunch. She yeah. plays the manager of a Christian comedy tour that I become a part of. Oh, oh really? On this season, R- on w- season three. Eve. Yeah, season. That's three. great. Isn't that crazy. And How was it working with her? It was awesome. And then the end of the episode, Judd put in a very deep cut, talking about music, of a Brady Bunch song. Yeah, <laughs> so we were like, like, how do we end this cut. episode? And I said, there's got to be an obscure Brady Bunch when they were like a band. Yeah, I yeah. remember that. Which song. one did you do? Time to change? You need to rearrange? No, we that's went, the hit. Two we went, on the nose. Everyone would know. We went yeah. deep. It was like like something about rainbows and love. and Summer? Yeah. And and then it's... it's they sound like they have guns to their head. Oh, it's They're so like, great. And when you're grooving it, in the park <laughs> and all the fun's yeah. about to yeah. yeah, it's too bad Mr. Brady likes the ponies, huh? <laughs> Fuck it, sing. You sing for the Scalusi brothers. You and everybody's brady ah. in take the, the old house. One. Grab a chicken, grab a mouse. You, just, you take the old boy, I'll Sing, you fuck. <laughs> I don't care, you the young one. You got a speech impediment, you can sing. Oh, they wanted her to sing the most. It was most adorable. Oh. Was Cousin Oliver in that group? Uh, no, in, in the singing group. No. <laughs> yeah. What's funny about the song is it's they're I don't all know singing. I said, no, I don't know. <laughs> they're all singing in, in like in harmony, and then you know we just use the the verse where Eve Plum is singing her solo verse. Yeah. yeah. And she really does sound very nervous. Very nervous to have to sing. I kept saying this was the best take. Is she? Because <laughs> she's like, Burn, fine. is she hotter than Marsha now? Than Maureen McCormick? Uh, I don't. I'd have to see Marsha now, right? Is it Maureen McCormick? Wouldn't That's we have to compare it wrong? people yeah. now? You know what? This is such a deep part of my childhood. I, I can't go to who's hotter in the in the Brady Bunch. Yeah, that's too, that's, that's too hard. That, that's well, maybe too Cindy, but Cindy may have hit rough times. You know, young you child see syndrome. Brady Bunches now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I go Alice. I remember when the- I'm an Alice guy. Uh, <laughs> oh, fucking Amby Davis? Goddamn right. You're an Amby Davis guy. All call, me, call me Sam the Butcher. I yeah. was a Joey Tata guy. <laughs> That's the guy who owned the peach bit on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I remember when Freaks and Geeks was on the verge of uh, being canceled and- and and then okay, we, that's find one a week. Fair photo. One week. Find we, a better photo. One week we were up against the uh, that is Mary so and Rhoda movie. Awesome. Oh, that's yeah. cool. And everyone wanted to see like how Mary and Rhoda looked. Mary and, and Rhoda. And they got the. I mean, it was the biggest ratings ever. The Mary Rhoda. The Mary and Rhoda. How do you find out about that in the production office where they go, guys? Uh, we got the date, and we are up against the Mary and Rhoda movie. <laughs> and you go, I'm I'm canceled because of the Mary and Rhoda movie. <laughs> She just calls. She goes, hello, boys. And, and then just, we got replaced by a, a game show hosted by John McEnroe. 
Oh, really? Called like 21. Everyone was doing game shows because like, who wants to be a millionaire? He just hits tennis balls at people. Oh, I just know the other photo is better, by the way. I wasn't like, kill the pit. <laughs> Wait, yeah, bring those yeah, pits up. Can, I want to see you them. You can do it. I just thought maybe we could give, Where's make Cindy? it a more evil, even playing field. Wait, so so most of your uh, listeners yeah. listen on Sirius Radio, XM. Yeah. but you like to do a lot of Visual. visuals. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's basically our number one note from our executive producers. We need to stop watching videos. To which we say, <laughs> shut up. We say, no. go to At the Bonfire SXM or Christine is nonstop during the show putting up these companion pieces. To, we'll see what we're talking about. Because a lot of people listen on demand or steal it, and we're fine yeah. with both. Yeah. Uh, and then you can sync up with our Twitter and see all the Remember pictures and Netflix videos. Netflix was like, steal it. We don't care. Do they still feel that way? Oh, about the dip? But that's when they used to email. They email. That's when they mail you the DVDs. Yeah, I still have one. What do you have? What's the late fee on that? Yeah. But well, remember no. when you used to go to uh, to uh, the, uh, what was the video store? Blockbuster. I mean, Block, Blockbuster. Blockbuster. You would forget to or return Hollywood, it, and yeah. they would charge you like $75. Yes. Right. And Spend that's right why they went that. bankrupt, because everyone, the second they had another option, they were like, fuck you for <laughs> yeah, screwing me spiteful. so many times. Hey, I, spent, I spent a night in jail. I spent a night in jail for that. What? what? In Gen Pop? For not Gen Pop. <laughs> C-Block, good call. That's how we learned it. In I Gen Pop, for sure. Frozen bologna sandwich, the whole nine. Wh- why FBS? is that? Uh, for not returning videotapes. And then this particular video store, it wasn't Blockbuster, it was a mom um, pop store. Uh, Hollywood that's where you have video? to go to get. No, it was when, when, yeah. where you'd go to get. Uh, there were some saloon doors that you could blow oh, open and be in the adult films. Yeah. Took them, never returned them. That guy would, didn't know this. He would take people to court and you really would. I wouldn't be paying attention at like 18 years old for court documents coming to my house. <laughs> and you'd find out he took you to court and you, you know, you lost because you didn't show up and then you have a bench warrant for not showing up in court. That's crazy. So you know, when you, when you get pulled over for like, you know, whatever your taillights out or some nonsense, uh, the cop runs your thing and they go, Oh, you're like, you, you have a warrant for your arrest and they take you in. So you went to a night of jail. Do you remember what movies? <laughs> Something. <laughs> Prison <right>. lesbians? <laughs> I, know. Yeah, I think it was. I think you used to get these videos. They were weird. It was like, Home videos that would be like Mardi Gras or like these weird festivals around the country where they would like have people. It was like Girls Gone Wild, but like dirtier. But girls Gone Wild was more of like the showing. Girls tip. Gone Very Wild. Yeah, mm-hmm. Girls Gone Extraordinary Girls Gone wild. Nuts. <laughs> yeah. These girls have gone nuts. <laughs> girls Gone Bat Shit. <laughs> these girls are gone. Is, I've told the story. I'm embarrassed how many times I've told the story, UJ, is that yeah. I, when I was Christ, like super Christian, and back when you knew me, when you first met me, and this is what Crashing is about, it, that guy trying to be in mm-hmm. comedy, you and I walked from the cellar to the corner, and you just, ca- I, I'll never forget it, you go, let me see that club magazine the guy gives you club 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 which is just which is, stills of porn it's yeah. not like it's a not studio. a nude magazine it's it is a, a nude, hardcore no, pornography it's just like here's some buttholes yeah. and you flipped through it for what i don't know yeah and then handed it back yeah and i was there going, Got it. i am so ashamed i've ever <laughs> masturbated and this guy's just like maybe i'll take some mental pics for later dude i love that jay or goes you through didn't it. do it for you no, like the economist you go Mm, all right, what's going on there? <laughs> Have you ever asked for a magazine, no. any magazine, flip through it and given it back? No. Club magazine. You were like, yeah, that's about right. Sometimes they give you a free DVD. A young Samantha Fox was a part of Club. I guess. Hey, you naughty wanna, girls need love too. I mean, you want to judge the place, but let's just say that a young Samantha Fox was involved. Even were... the covers are hardcore pornography. Yeah. This is like jugs. You can't no. say, give me the jugs. This is why they keep them in plastic bags, usually. Did they have to open a plastic bag? That place didn't. Did they have to? (laughs) (laughs) Jay knew? Wait, uh, Ariana Grande is on a club... Okay, that's a different magazine. Club something. It's different (laughs) clubs. Club X. Yeah, you're like, thank you. Oh, buddy. Uh, By the way, for the record, before we let you guys go, uh, I'm going to go still Maureen McCormick's probably getting the biz before Plum. But Eve Plum's right in there. Is she older than Maureen McCormick? Like, in real life? I don't know. And we're Cindy. I'm an Alice guy. I'm an Alice guy. <laughs> You've always yeah. been an Alice guy. You, you, you held firm on that always. Dude, I told you, man, right now. I looked as a young boy. I said, the Sam, Sam the Butcher is a lucky fucking guy. <laughs> she takes care of the of the Brady family. Me and Dave would be a good crush and puss team for the 90s, especially, because I'm all, I'm, uh, I'm all six Dan's Blossom. 
<laughs> oh, six. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Jenna Von Oy, thin waist, big old booty. I'm oh, six. You're Blossom. No, no, no. Dan's coming in for Blossom because she has big Jewish titties. That's his words. I'm more Johnny Bravo. Beep. Johnny Bravo? <laughs> yeah, barrel chest. I like that. <laughs> strong forearms. Strong, strong forearms. Uh, crashing. How much did we like six just because she was named six, though? Oh, it was cool. And the hats. Yeah. And the hats. Crashing. Oh, great. Air crashing. January 20th. <laughs> January 20th, HBO, 10 p.m., following True Detective, True Detective lead in, yeah. uh, Pete ah, Holmes and Judd Apatow. <laughs> uh, it's the, always the so great to see you guys, man. It was yeah, cool you come in here, and absolutely, man, we'll be watching. Enjoy your free oh, seltzer. Oh, my God. <laughs> Water in a cup. And uh, we'll be right back on Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Big Jokerson, and that's Dan Soda. We do it every time because we have to. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. My gloves. <laughs> oh, I found the one skill I can do you can't, Big J. Okerson. It's Soder, and this is the bonfire. I'm Comedy Central Radio Series X, I'm 95. Yeah, and that Dan Soder is going to be at the Punchline in Atlanta, January 24th mm-hmm. to 26th. Mm-hmm. Mm. Go get tickets. Get your tickets for that and all Dan shows at dansoder.com. Oh, D.C., Washington, D.C. Give me two, ch- two shots. Two shots to see Big J. Two shots. You can see him tomorrow night on Ari Shafir's Storytelling Show. And then or coming back. Come on back. January 24th and 26th is going to be at the D.C. Improv. I don't like how close we're going to be to each other. so far mm, away. So, so far away. Atlanta, Atlanta D.C. D.C. After that, he's going to be at Cap City in Austin, Texas, February 14th through the 16th. Go get tickets at BigJComedy.com. And, of course, go stream his special as part of the Degenerates. And Netflix. while you're streaming that, stream our podcast. Yeah. Wherever you download podcasts. Mm, meow. Mm. Mm, meow. And then watch our videos. Meow. <laughs> Oh, yeah. look at, oh, look at Gwal. Look at Gwal. Oh, look at Gwal. You know, the comedy seller party is making it that I couldn't go sleaze core Monday today. It's bumming me out. I'm sorry, dude. I Can know. I tell you something right now? Yeah. Proud of you. For what? For dressing up. I'm not going sleaze core? It's not going sleaze core, dog. No. You don't like sleaze core? I love it. I like to take it sleazy, dude. I fucking love it, dude. I take you it sleazy. You know what it makes sleazy. me think? It makes me think I'm going to go right home and maybe get some street meat. Put on some sweatpants myself. And just give up the party altogether. Give up, but I won't. Get street meat and split. Because I'm not if I was your girl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I do to I you. you. I'll change your <laughs> uh, No, I'm going to do Frantic, and then I'm going to go to the party. Okay. 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 So uh, this weekend, I uh, checked Instagram, and I got a very long DM that I was like, it was a request. I never checked the request, but I checked the request, and I was like, what the fuck? Oh, you don't. I check them once in a while. Check them very build. rarely. Yeah, you let them build. Yeah, you check them very rarely. So I check it, and I'm like, oh, this is fucking weird. What is this one? It's this long fucking thing. And at first, I'm like, someone's mad? So you have that reaction of like, well, what are you mad about? It right? was mad for sure right away. Right away. How can you tell right away? Man, <laughs> the uh, the exclamation points are. It's like you really of... fucked because the because the subject was you really fucked me on this one. Oh, dude, it it and it starts in such a way that you're like, uh, already I can tell I can mentally beat you in an argument. Yeah. So immediately you're like, I'm, I understand they're mad. It was but... like some things aren't funny. Yeah. A line yeah. like that always make you go, yeah, let's have this it argument. Was, it was just started a couple of days. Ago. Oh, dude, this is just great. I'll read the whole email. So then I'm like, oh, this is fucking hilarious. I screen grab it. I try to send it, but I'm like, it's like six screen grabs unless I, or I'd have to allow the message. And I'm not allowing the message. I'm not allowing this fucking dork to get through. So then I checked my email and this lady emailed my website too with the same message, just copy and paste it. So I was like, beautiful. Now I got it in one. Slick place where I could read it on my radio show, or as she calls it, my concert. Uh, so what it is you is did your concerts. Uh, I did a joke uh, on Conan and uh, Live at Gotham years ago about right. Russia being the scariest white people. So then your world tour also, and my world tour called "You Think This But Never uh, I mean, Nate Bargatze and I always used to joke around that it was my free bird. It was like the only good joke that I wrote. They're like, "Play Russian," and you're like, "I don't want fucking play that song no more." But I, I you know, I did it. Uh, did yeah. we only call our shows concerts from now on? Well, let me read the email and you'll see what she called a concert, and it's I know, but fucking hilarious. Like, can we call them all concerts? Yeah. He goes, guys, if you want to see me live in concert. 
concert. I'll be uh, dude. I'm gonna be DC live in concert. Improv. Yeah, DC. I'll be at the tomorrow night. We're doing a big like we're doing a, a big concert where there's a bunch of different a uh, bunch of different performers coming out. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a hell of a concert. I'm going to do a concert at Frantic. I'm gonna be playing on that concert. Oh yeah yeah yeah. It's a big concert. So and then we're gonna have a thing at the Comedy Cellar Concert Hall. <laughs> yeah, Comedy Cellar Concert Hall. It's a big deal. It's a real big deal. Um, so I'll just read you the message. I won't read your name or anything, but this is fucking great. Let me get some, uh, let me get some Russian music there, Lou, if you could. Should I? Dan Solder, couple of days ago, my kids complained that somebody mocked them scary Russian. I didn't believe it. I live in Virginia already about three years, and we never ever had these kind of problems. Can I give, I think it's, it's, She's definitely Russian because this is written in the broken English of a Russian, dude. I swear to God, or are you making it? You're no. like, it's like you make big mistake, dude. When this you... is written, okay, as is. Ever... Okay, I, I okay. am not. I, listen, I'm intrigued. Listen, I'm a guy. I'm, I'm a voice guy. I love to zhuzh it up. I love to bring it more closer to me. This is just straight fucking farm to table, bud. Love it. <laughs> this is. I'm just adding the accent. F-T-T? I'm just putting a little bit of parsley on it. F2T. F2T. Uh, later, I turn on the radio in my car and understood what the problem is. You created this problem. It was an advertising of your concert on radio with, quote, Russian are scary. My daughter was at the moment in car with me. She started to cry and ask me, why am I scary? She is six. How I have to explain it to her? How I have to explain that we're not scary to friends and classmates of kids to my neighbors, to my co-workers? <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm terrible. It is insult based on nationality. You are nationalist, Dan Soder. Stop it. You are nationalist? Not a nationalist. You are nationalist. You're nationalist. You are nationalist, Dan Soder. Stop it. All caps. Wait, was someone said someone's a nationalist? Does that mean they're racist against other nations? Yeah, I mean, that's, you could also call it xenophobic. You could call it all things, you know what I mean? But, but when they say someone's a nationalist, nationalist is, is that like, what the, is uh, that what they mean? I think so. Like, it's the same ist as racist? Or sexist? Yeah, it's got an ist in it. So never it's, put those things together. In my it's life. An, me, Maybe me it's too. the dumbest thing I've ever just said out loud. That's no, okay. I've but said, nationalist. Dude, I called a receipt a recipe. That's, you know what? I mean, yeah. Come you on, dude. Then if yeah. I could clap, if I could take these gloves off, I'd clap right now. But yeah. they're part of me. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you know. I had them sewed into my skin. Well, she goes on to explain what she thinks a nationalist is. Hell yeah! You can't insult and blame people only because of their nationality, only because they are Russian. So according to you, Dan Soter, Russians are the scariest white people. I'm Russian. I've got PhD degree and I speak three languages. Not well. <laughs> My husband was U.S. Navy for many years. He is a submariner. I mean, that's hilarious. Submariner. So, yeah, submariner. I'm Russian language professor here in Virginia and I'm not scary. She's my, certainly not an English professor. Yeah. My daughter is six, and her classroom teacher said in her report, she is just sweet little girl. Like, she's writing the grade report against me. Wow. Like, she knows this. It's like, you stupid shithead. This is a joke that I did on Conan fucking eight years ago. Uh, this is the best. She started to play piano this year. She's Russian, and she's not scary. I want that to be the new catchphrase. A Russian she's girl Russian. playing piano is scary. It's terrifying. It's terrifying. Empty yeah. a house out and just put a piano with a little Russian girl playing piano. I, I won't believe she's not a ghost. Yeah. I'll leave before I check. Yeah. Oh, you want another ghost-like scenario? How about this one? Mm-hmm. My son is 13. He is trying his best. He walks sc- in circle in corner of dimly lit room <laughs> wearing so uniform from many years ago. He sings song, and when you try to listen, he turns to scream. Is he He's, scary? He's constantly shushing you and telling you, if you make noise, it will get us. He turns That's his, scary to you? He turns his head backwards and crawls <laughs> like animal. Is he not scary to you? He stares you in eye while you watch him choke dog to death. <laughs> That strike you as terrifying? He climb up side of wall, <laughs> run along ceiling. Is that scary to you? <laughs> you watch him bite bullet out of his own hand. <laughs> you find that not to be family boy, but to be scary? <laughs> 
So it says, um, second year. Uh, he's Watch your back, Dan Solder. Oh, dude, that... Anyways, what I'm saying is, you'll never know when I'll strike. Yeah. I'll find you. I when you sleep. sleep. Sleep well on your sleep number. How does she know that? How does she know that? She must be a consistent listener. We haven't had them as sponsors for oh, years. Christine probably gave your address out over the air. <laughs> That's his phone number and his address. <laughs> you got it all. <laughs> this is Trish's address. <laughs> but thanks to Blank Home Security Cameras, you come from my mom and you get got. Uh, got to get got. So it ends like this. Um, she's talking about her son because English is second language. He loves our dog. He is Russian and he is not scary. Sometimes he loves dog too much, which is concerning, but not scary. Not scary. He's doggy's friend and lover. <laughs> Anyways, romantic. Not scary. Not scary. <laughs> Sensual against the rules of society. <laughs> Not scary. Little off the grid, you know, off the reservation, they I say, say, but, uh, but, uh, not scary. Different strokes for different folks. <laughs> no scary. I have friends in Richmond. I won't call names. She's a student in Richmond University and he's a doctor. Her name is Boris Yetchevsky. <laughs> Her name is Olga Yagon Shigenlag. <laughs> That's, I don't know, she's Swedish. He's working at hospital intensive therapy department. He's saving people's lives every single day. They are Russian and they are not scary. My friend from Port is an optimist at the, as an operationist at bank. She has very cute little daughter. They are Russian and they, they are not scary. Not scary. Not Russian are scary. You are scary. That's so the scary. You are the scariest white man. She said it. So it's fucking cred right wow. here. Wow. Yeah, guess what, pinkies? You got a new king. And his name is Danny Sodes. If you don't get the words scary written across top of your back in crazy gothic letters, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. bro. With like knives. Like real gothic. Scary. Yeah. The word scary. The Y. Oh, dude, the I is a knife. C-A-R-Y. So the A is in the middle. You can make the A something. Something. Anarchy, because you can't. Win. Oh, so the words, so S and C, an old crazy block, oh. crazy uh, like, like shadowing in them. Yeah, gothic letters, and then the A is an anarchy symbol. <laughs> Fucking rad. And then the dude. R and Y are back to the gothic. <laughs> oh shit. man, come get some. Come get some of that. You got if you don't, right, get, if you don't get it, there's a chance I might get it. God, I wish I was the scariest white guy. Well, you know what? Chelsea- Sugar's a fucking insult, but now I wish I was dubbed with that. She told me I should apologize. <laughs> I've been told I'm the fattest guy a girl would fuck. That's pretty cool. But that's you can't even make like a acronym that makes that work yeah, across can. my back. Yeah. What? Cushion for the pushing? Yeah, but where's the anarchy part? <laughs> where's the anarchy sign go? One of the U's. Cushion for the pushing. I don't know. Across my back. <laughs> cushion number four. D A pushing. And the four is also an anarchy sign. <laughs> we solve problems at the bar, buddy. Yeah. I can't believe we have to go, dude. This is so we have to. Everything's so dumb. Stupid. I don't see you again until Thursday. Fun but we're Thursday doing, back. Yeah, we're doing live shows all week long. Um, but you and I will be back on together on Thursday. If you were wondering why we didn't uh, rake Judd Apatow over the coals for his Louie comments, I wanted to. And uh, Dan was just like, no, no, no. He could, might be able to help me in my career one That's day. That's what I said right before we went on. I went, dude, I went, I actually said this. I go, I go, I go, dude, 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 dude. Trying to get big bucks. <laughs> it goes, uh, crash and seizing a four. I went, uh, I'm pretty sure I just got a wink and a handshake. So I'll be seeing you on season four. A four. Looks like someone. Crashing, crashing. <laughs> I hope they give me an arc where I'm like, you know, a voice guy, but not a voice guy. <laughs> just you like know, different, yeah. like same, like, different. But I do, and I went like Louis P. U. Ew. Why are you allowed to tell jokes? Yuck, why? Don't even try. Ew. <laughs> pew. Pew, pew. Pew. You are scary. You are the one who is scary. Uh, I'm not going to be here tomorrow. Fuck, man. But you're going to have a fun show. Yeah. Uh, then Wednesday, uh, we have a fun show playing. You're not going to be here. And then Thursday, back. live Thursday, everybody. Boys Another rare live Thursday. We're going to come in. We're both home. So Boys fuck are it, back man. together, dude. We're coming and do it for you live on a Thursday. You want me to do it in front of you? Make sure we end the week right. Hang on. Put it. Hang yeah. on. Just pull them down. Go do it. it. Don't pull them down. Pull them to the side. Go do it. You're scary. You're what scary. That? Man, that's some rough frill on the edges. That's yeah. gonna, you know, it's going to chafe me up. You know, pull them down. Oh, back. So pull them back down. Pull them yeah. down. Pull them down. Okay. Oh. There. Yeah. And, 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 and. There it is. There it is. They call it Cincinnati. Wait, 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 wait. Slow, 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 slow. 
Wait, yeah. 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 I'll, I'll go if you go. <laughs> we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Crackle, crackle. Bang.